Welcome to Behind the Bid. My name is Emily Einichner. I'm with the Downtown West Dallas Business Improvement District. Today we are at DC Ellington Company and I'm here with Mark and Grant Ellington. Guys, how are you doing today? We're doing great, Emily. Doing good. Good. Thanks for coming. No problem. So how long have you been in West Dallas? We've been here since 1968. Wow. Before that, we were, uh, we were located on uh, 16th in Wisconsin downtown for, for 10 years. Mm -hmm. We're second generation. Uh, mom and dad started the place. DC and DC Ellington is Dale Clinton. That's our, that's our dad. And what made you guys want to stick with the business? Well, it was uh, easier than getting a real job, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, our father wouldn't let us quit. Oh, it's the only course. job we, we could do. Uh, <laughs> reasonable labor. <laughs> so what kind of, I mean, we got a big array here on the table of what you guys do, but what are some of your more popular products you make? Well, of course we do print. We've been doing that forever. Um, these are, you can see here, this is, uh, uh, some literature for a, uh, a developer in the area and we uh, we do promotional products and screen printing here so we, we do a nice mix of stuff it's kind of like a one-stop shop uh, to market your business yeah. and uh, people will come in and want business cards and they'll walk out with t-shirts or imprinted pens it's it's a nice package deal we do the artwork here Grant's, Grant's a graphic designer and uh, he can make artwork that will work on any product that we're going to print. So it, it all looks nice. It's all uh, uh, carefully done. We kind of pride ourselves in that. Yeah, and one of the things you guys do for us at the downtown um, is you make our classic car show t-shirts for us. So Grant, can you tell us a little bit about the whole process that goes into making those shirts? First, pictures have to be taken of the car. And then that car is traced and redrawn and made into vector art, which, which, which is uh, a medium that we, we, we use to make the screens. We make the screens depending on how many colors. Go ahead and print the shirts, print them both sides, print the sleeve, job is done. And we sell a bunch of them every year and we hand out at least 550 every year to all the guys. So have you noticed any different trends happening? Is there something people are ordering more now than they used to? Everything. With the exception of the screen printing, everything is digital. Yeah. Um, we went from four or five press operators in the back to zero. Wow. <laughs> everything is run digitally out of the mm -hmm. computers. And what took three or four very, very skilled workers to do now takes one person. Wow. <laughs> and we feel bad because those people uh, don't have jobs but in most cases they're older and they retired mm -hmm. yeah. and that's what happened to us our our uh, employees that we had worked their whole lives through DC Ellington and then they retired yeah. and we couldn't find anyone to replace them so we went all digital uh, as when most other printers are doing the only thing that's still done the way it was a hundred years ago is screen printing yeah Screen printing is still the same. You need a you don't use silk anymore. You use Dacron or Rayon, and uh, it's it's done exactly the same way as it was, just a little more refined, a little faster, and a little a little more uh, 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 mechanical than it was. So you said you guys switched over mostly to digital now. Have you noticed a change in the quality of the product? No. It's it's night and day. It's really? remarkably better. Yeah. Wow. Phen phenomenal. Yeah. yeah, and, and as, as uh, every day the equipment gets better. Every, every year the equipment upgrades yeah. and it's, it's hard to keep up with that. And I spent uh, perhaps 25 years or so in the print shop uh, printing offset and I just shake my head every day when I look at the things that, that Grant can do. Uh, he sets it up on the computer, pushes a button, and it comes out all done. It just so you get things amazes done even me. Faster oh. too, not just lightning speed now. <laughs> it just no press wash ups or uh, anything like that. It just goes. Wonderful colors are all spot on. Yeah. The digital uh, development is is going crazy. They have digital or fancy copy machines. They can print gold or silver foil now. Wow! Like <laughs> going through a copy machine. 
So what have you noticed a lot of businesses ordering as far as promotional products go? Well, it's kind of, it's kind of seemed like it's going towards more electronic stuff now. Um, things associated with cell phones and tablets and laptops, chargers and stylus pens are, are real popular. Um, in wearables, wicking fabric is, uh, is a popular item as, as is uh, soft feel. Mm -hmm. uh, performance wear. Performance wear is real popular. Um, as far as promotional stuff goes, your basic bread and butter, uh, coffee cup or travel mug yeah. or ballpoint pen, they're still the top number three items in the world. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that hasn't changed. People want to see it. They get a cup with their name on it. You're going to see it every day and you're going to remember their name. Yeah. This, is a, this is a program we did which I think is kind of fun. It was for breast cancer awareness. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, FM 106 is uh, Karen D'Alessandro was behind this. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, is, this is a backpack, all pink. This is their little, little, their little mascot, which is a, a little chick. Their program was Checkups for Chicks. And people who participated got a little premium like this. And this is some little Aww. mints that have the little chick printed right on them. So there's Cute. virtually nothing we can't print so yeah edible ad specialty yeah. that's right <laughs> what would you say is one of the more unique products you've ever had to print metal lunch boxes just like when you were in grade school we can print them on all six sides of a, of a lunch box uh, we can print a full color picture of of emily on a cookie <laughs> <laughs> the uh the advertising doesn't last very long. But it's, it's <laughs> Orders are going to come flooding in now for those. I'm only kidding. Right. <laughs> and we can print on walnuts. Yeah. Well, we how print do you print on a walnut? That's done with a pad printing process. Uh, <laughs> uh, one time, somebody called me on the phone and she's, you know, I know, I, you know, I'm just going through the motions. I apologize. I know you can't do this. Uh, if you work for a bank, in marketing. And the boss, boss had this brainstorm. They're going to a conference in Las Vegas. Okay. And they wanted some dice, okay, with their logo on it. He says, well, it gets worse than that. Because every time you throw the dice, we want our bank's logo to come up. So I thought, that's impossible. <laughs> so I'm thinking, oh, loaded dice. Yep. So I have a, a computer with a service release that has like 2,000 manufacturers on it. Yeah. And I just type loaded dice. And the lady's on the phone and says, oh, mm, that's interesting. She says, what size did you want? Three quarter inch or one inch? <laughs> <laughs> we got an order and we got a huge reorder. And uh, that loaded dice promotion won all kinds of awards. That's awesome. Uh, you throw these dice, it would just about stop. It would boom, pop over <laughs> to, to the bed. It was great fun, great fun. And it was cool that you're willing to go that extra mile to find that for that customer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In fact, that's what we do. A lot of people say, well, I can buy this online. So we'll go right ahead. Uh, you're not, how are you going to get the artwork done? How are you going to make sure that the imprint is going to look good? We know what to send to the factories and so forth. And if something doesn't go right, whose neck are you going to ring? Yeah. You know, some guy in Timbuktu, or you can come right over here and we'll take care of it for you. So personal attention is it's that's kind of our bread and butter and what we're noted for and quality that's right we we watch every product like it was going to yeah. our own home <laughs> and that that's a big that's a big difference between a small company and uh, a very large internet based operation we still care so you guys don't just work with West Dallas, you extend beyond West Dallas. So where's your farthest customer from? Uh, Poland. Really? <laughs> what did you do for them? <laughs> You're surprised, aren't you? Yeah. I did keychains for a plumbing company in Poland. <laughs> <laughs> we did bumper stickers for an organization in Ireland okay. recently. And uh, they picked, they were going to be exhibiting at Irish Fest, yep. did the product here and save them all kinds of money and shipping costs and so forth and it worked out great. We do a lot of work for fabric companies in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, we got in with one company and then they liked what we did so uh, our name just got around. Cool. 
and uh, it doesn't matter where you are anymore. You yeah, know, awesome. everything is done via email, mm -hmm. shipped out. Anything can be there the next day. Uh, it just, it just your your lo location doesn't matter much when it comes to to selling things. Well. For you guys, you guys have been here since 1968, Correct. you said. Mm -hmm. So what do you love about West Dallas that you've stayed here for so long? Well, it's uh, about a mile from my home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to take the freeway, but the freeway is right around the corner. Uh, it's very easy for our customers to get here. Mm -hmm. We like that, and it's a nice uh, uh, family-oriented type of community. The downtown is... Uh, is vibrant now it's coming back we're proud to be part of it our property values are values are holding that that's important yeah and uh, it, it's just a nice place to do business so if someone wants to come in and order some promotional products how can they get a hold of you they can uh, of course come in and see us which i think is the best way mm -hmm. so we can talk about it most people have no idea what they want when they come in and uh, if they do have a, an idea, sometimes we can fine tune it because we know what might work a little better for their, their need. Um, they can also search us on our website. We have uh, 400,000, if not more, items that are searchable on dcellington.com. So. And we are located at 7412 West Greenfield Avenue in downtown West Dallas. <laughs> 414. Four five three zero seven seven zero. Well, thank you guys for taking the time to sit with us today on Behind the Bid. Learned a lot of interesting stuff today, especially that you guys have clients all the way in Poland. Okay. Didn't know that. <laughs> Again, my name is Emily Einicker. I'm with the Downtown West Dallas Business Improvement District. We are at DC Ellington, and we'll see you next time on Behind the Bid.